Hello, welcome. Today we're actually going to be talking about something that isn't anime. Wait, don't click off yet. We're talking about something that's actually a real life issue. Today we're going to be talking about the Channel Awesome controversy. Now I want to establish Channel Awesome first. For anyone who is unaware, I'll give a basic explanation. Channel Awesome is mainly a YouTube channel. They have their own website, which is really where the story ties in. But to summarize, they're a YouTube channel with over 1 million subscribers, and they have a ton of different shows that are uploaded to their YouTube channel. One of those shows is, of course, the That Guy With A Glasses show, also known as the show of the nostalgia critic Doug Walker. Doug Walker is, of course, famous on the internet. Most people know who he is, or at least most people in my age demographic know who he is. I'm not sure how well the younger kids, like 12, 11, 13, know of Doug Walker. I don't know, because he's definitely not as prominent as he used to be. He's prominent with an older audience, but not as prominent as he used to be, so it's a little iffy in that regard. But he's definitely one of the most recognizable figures on YouTube, without a doubt next to people like PewDiePie, arguably more recognizable in just name because of his history with the website having been on here since 2008. Or around there. But recently, of course, a document was released by people that have worked for the Channel Awesome company. And it was really just talking. I'm not going to go into it. I will uh, leave it in the description of the Google Doc for anybody who wants to go read it. I highly recommend you read it. I didn't read the whole thing. But even just reading some of it, I am inherently disgusted at what I am reading. People have been mistreated by Channel Awesome. They were mistreated. They go on to talk about what we all kind of knew. Like, honestly, we all kind of knew it, but they kind of confirm it. They're like, yes, this is the way it works. And that is the fact that Doug Walker is deeply involved in the Channel Awesome company. He's deeply involved with the brand. He's basically the CEO without being the CEO in some ways. He is a content creator, but he also has the role of business decision. He gets to sit in on board meetings and interviews sometimes, from what I understand. Doug Walker is very special because of the fact that he is that guy with a glasses. And from a business perspective, I understand why Doug Walker is so important. Channel Awesome success, a lot of it stems from the nostalgia critic. People have gone on record in a lot of videos that have been made about this saying in 2008 and around that time period they went to the Channel Awesome, that website, to see that guy with a glasses. There were of course other shows, one of which some of my viewers maybe may be familiar with was the weekly manga recap. I forgot who headed it. But that was a show that existed on Channel Awesome. It's not there anymore from what I know. But essentially the document was released like three weeks ago. No, not even like a week ago, two weeks ago at most. And it was essentially saying by people that have worked for them, Channel Awesome mistreated us as employees. We were mistreated, we were abused, we weren't given proper time slots. Doug Walker would put ahead of all of us. Which, listen. I get putting Doug Walker ahead of them. Doug Walker is what makes them the most money. So of course, they're obviously going to put the Nostalgia Critic, or that guy with a glasses, before Weekly Manga Recap, because Nostalgia Critic is going to make way more money than a mo Weekly Manga Recap show. Yeah, that's going to make money. Yeah, there's a lot of people that read manga. There's certainly more people watching that guy with a glasses than there are people watching the weekly manga recap. So from a business perspective, I get it, but I can definitely see how people would call it unfair. And it's also worth noting that these people were not coming out and like, screw Channel Awesome, burn it to the ground. I want Doug Walker to be a homeless hobo. That's, that's not what Channel Awesome was doing. That's not, that's not what the, that's not what these people were doing. What these people are asking for is an apology. That's all they want. They just want Channel Austin to come out and say they're sorry that they messed up. You have to understand, this happened over 10 years ago. 
a lot of these complaints are from people that worked with Channel Awesome in like 2008. So, and they worked on the website, not even the YouTube channel, due to the way the system worked about them, which I really don't want to get into, because I haven't done the proper research on that matter. But, the point I'm trying to make is that these people aren't trying to burn Channel Austin to the ground. They're not angry about it. It's a lot like, this is a strange comparison, but it's a lot like the sexual assault accusations that have been coming out recently. A lot of these things happened like 10 years ago. That doesn't make it any less of a serious topic, and I'm in no way comparing the two, but I'm just saying it's the same kind of thing. A ton of people just got together and decided to speak the truth years later. It's the same thing in that regard. Both cases, people just kind of came together and were like, let's fight this. So, and they're not even fighting it like the women are, but just to assault accusations. They're, the rogue women are attacking people, they're saying, you did this to me, it's a very serious issue. They're kind of just like, listen, you were kind of a jerk. Can you say you were sorry, please? If you don't, well then you're kind of an asshole. Like, that's it. Like, that, that, that's basically what this is. I, I, gotta be, I don't want to put words into anybody's mouth, but that's kind of what they're going for in this regard. They're kind of just asking for an apology. But a lot of the internet was surprised with Channel Awesome's response to this matter. Which is, of course, the fact that they tweeted out, they tweeted out, I'm sorry you felt that way. Which, of course, that's not how you handle this issue. You have hundreds, you have hundreds of people, a lot of people, that are coming out and saying they were mistreated by your company. And instead of going, yeah, we messed up, we apologize to you, which is all they're really asking for. That's a running theme in the document that I, from what I did read of it. It's it's like a 30-page document or something, really long. But from what I did read of it, that's the running theme. They all just wanted an apology, as I said earlier. They're over it. It happened 10 years ago, and it wasn't even serious like the analogy with the sexual assault accusations I used earlier. This This was them being mistreated by a company that made crappy internet videos in 2008. I'm not saying videos were bad, but let's be honest, compared to the today's standards, it was a ton of people on built-in webcams with no microphone recording subpar video compared to today. Because the technology wasn't available to the mass public to do what I'm doing now with this kind of quality at the time. And honestly, they're all over it. It wasn't a big deal, and all they really wanted is an apology. They don't want anything else. They just want the guy to come out and be like, yeah, we messed up, we apologize. And the problem is that they came out and they essentially said, no, we're we're just sorry that you feel that way. And then they tweeted another tweet, which was kind of just like the same kind of thing. They don't really apologize. They keep saying things. But nothing they say is really an apology, and that's the real problem here. Obviously, the CEO of Channel Awesome should step down. He clearly doesn't know how to handle the situation. He's probably not meant to be a CEO. Like, I have trouble believing a channel that started on YouTube, a company that's based off of YouTube as an actual CEO. If you look at a lot of actual companies that come from YouTube, the people that are in charge of those companies aren't like, the business geniuses. They're kind of just people that figure it out, figure it out as they go along. Or hire somebody to do it. Because they have a million subscribers on YouTube. Before they were big, they were just some guy a lot of the time. They were some guy. Look at like Benny from Common Story. Benny used to be in the army. Benny's not, like, Benny's not going around like, yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm a master CEO. <laughs> like, it's, you, no, it's not, it's not how, it's not how all this works. That's not how they work, and that's the real problem here. They they can't handle the situation. What most people would have expected, and what I think would have fit the problem, would have been if Doug Walker and the CEO and all the people in charge came on screen and were like, we messed up, we apologized, and uploaded it to the channel off the YouTube channel and to the website. I think that could have swept all this, all this under the rug really nicely. But that's not what they did. And I think a majority of the problem, 
problem off the lies <laughs> with the fact that if you go back and you look at some of the Nostalgia Critics' older stuff, which I did before watching this, I'm not going to post it on screen, but honestly, you don't want to see it. But he didn't know how to edit. Like, these were people making videos in, like, 2008. You have to realize, just look at videos uploaded in 2008. The standards on YouTube were drastically different. You didn't even need to have a full screen video like I have on screen now. It just wasn't required. It just wasn't the way the website works. So a lot of the videos weren't very good, and it was all people really had at the time. It was, those, those were the best videos on the site at the moment. Like, a video with lower quality than this, and what you're watching right now. When this is, isn't the best setup, I'm in a room in my house. But, a, no soundproof, no nothing. A video with less quality than this, what we'll, we'll consider top quality back then. That's what you need to understand. So I think a lot of people went to Channel Awesome and were like, this is the best thing on the internet. And a lot of people... I've seen have been like, I can't believe I ever liked Channel Awesome, and I'm like, why? Like, that guy with the glasses is funny. I've seen it stuff, he's a funny guy. If I was to say, would I, do I still support him? Absolutely not. The actions of Channel Awesome are despicable. You can't mistreat employees the way they have. You, you can't do it. You can't. It's absolutely unacceptable what they did to these people. It's just it's unacceptable. Dude, does that mean I want the channel to crash and burn? I want everybody to become homeless? First of all, Doug Walker is fine. Doug Walker is, has a personality. If Doug Walker wanted to have his own show again, he could do it. Apparently, there's some stuff with that the Nostalgia Critic IP, but let's be honest, the Nostalgia Critic name isn't what makes money. It's Doug Walker. It would take time, but Doug Walker, if he, if he tweeted out on his personal Twitter, uh, starting new YouTube channel, come subscribe, he'd probably get to 300k in like a week. Like, he's Doug Walker, one of, the, one of the most famous people on YouTube. He'd be fine. Well, he's not one of the most famous, but there's, he's been around so long, and he's been big for so long, everybody just kind of knows who he is. But... That's all I really had to say on the matter. But, for what I had to say on the matter, it isn't much. I don't have a ton to say. I was never the biggest fan of Channel Awesome. I think it's a very serious issue, and I do think the company either needs to change, or it needs to go away. Because I don't like the Nostalgia Critic very, very much. He most certainly not even even in my top 20 favorite content creators. I watched some of his stuff around Christmas. He had some good, funny videos around there. He had some great uh, nostalgia critic episodes on Christmas specials, like Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, which I love. I love that. That's a great episode of uh, That Guy with the Glasses. It's a great episode. It's him reviewing that really bad uh, special, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, and it's really good content, and I enjoy it. But if I had to choose between... Nostalgia critic content that I watched maybe a handful of times every year, which is basically around Christmas when I'm on Christmas break, and employees being mistreated and getting rid of the company and doing that, I'm sorry, get rid of the company. Delete the channel, be done with it. That is my honest, honest opinion on the matter, but I'm also not attached to Nostalgia Critic. I can see why many people who have been following him since they were in high school in 2008 would be upset at the thought of Nostalgia Critic and the That Guy With A Glasses show ending. I can see that. I can get behind that. But overall, do I really care? To be honest, I really don't. It just doesn't affect me. This story doesn't affect me beyond the fact that I upload content to the same website as the channel awesome and this is a big YouTube controversy so I should talk about it by that logic. Like, just like how I did. I didn't talk about Logan Paul but I'm talking about this. But that's all I really have to say on the matter. I have nothing else to really say about it. There's nothing special to talk about. I mean, if channel awesome did some really, really bad stuff 
and it isn't like when PewDiePie said the N-word, or when Logan Paul found the dead body. First of all, I honestly don't care that PewDiePie said the N-word. I hate the N-word. It, he said it one time. It doesn't, he PewDiePie, he has like 200 million to go, who cares? He PewDiePie, who gives a damn? I mean, I don't like the word. Do I support him saying it? No. Am I going to say a challenge should be deleted for it? No. And should I maybe be a personally attacked for it? No. The Logan Paul thing was despicable, but it was still only one damn mistake. It was still a mistake. Well, again, that's debatable. But it was still only one thing. And the issue with this, and this is something that could still be going on today, God knows how many people have been mistreated, like, actually, economically, uh, personally, by Channel Awesome. How many people have been ripped off by them? How many people have been put in bad positions by them? God knows. So it isn't like a thing where it's like a YouTuber said a potty word. Like, PewDiePie said a bad racist word one time in its whole entire time on YouTube. Oh my god, delete the channel. It isn't like Logan Paul. Logan Paul showed a dead body in a Japanese suicide board. Oh my god, this is a massive deal. That's not what this is. This is a channel that has been abusing their employees for possibly an entire decade. This is a serious I'll say this is a serious issue, and I think what needs to happen is they either need to dissolve it, dissolve the company, or they need to stop abusing their employees. Especially now, as I talked about earlier, like with the sexual assault accusation, if people now have a voice, people know about this, and if somebody said they're being abused by Channel Awesome, everybody's going to believe them. So, they can't keep doing this either way, the word will get out about it next time they do it. So, what do I have to say on this matter? It needs to end, but it doesn't really affect me. I'm not, like, personally upset by the actions of Channel Awesome and Doug Walker, but I was never connected to them as creators. I didn't look up to Doug Walker. Flat out, I didn't. I didn't look up to these people. But that is all I have to say at the end of the day. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. If you enjoyed me doing vlogs, tell me in the comments. Because I have thought about making a vlog channel when my channel gets bigger. And if we can get to 100 subscribers within the next two months or so, which would be awesome, I will start a vlog channel. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, spread the video. Share the channel, that is my promise to you. One of the things I will do when I hit 100 subscribers is that I will start a vlog channel and I will upload to that weekly. That is my promise to you, but we gotta hit 100 subscribers first. So let's get to 100 subscribers. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more content like this, leave it a like and then maybe I'll start a vlog channel when we hit 100. And I'll start a vlog channel when we hit 100. 100, but until then, I can still do stuff like this on this channel every once in a while. But I hope you enjoyed. Leave the video a like if you did. Subscribe for more videos. I will let you guys have a great day. Nerd King 101 signing out.